smooth downs, guys. Uh, what's currently working uh, on the south coast is our lovely Natal mackerel. There are a lot of baits that you can use. I'm just going to show you the one that's working at the moment on the, our lower south coast. Simply mackerel and what we're using, bait needle, needle sharp knife, our number one power swivel. The hooks we use is a 9-0 sui, one mil nylon, obviously our sinker and because we're going to clip it, I've just got a sinker clip, cable tie and our old trusty toothpick. Okay, to make the trace, very simple. All that we're doing is basically doing a figure of eight notcher. Slide it down. Pull tight. I'm just going to go undercover quickly, guys. Just to make sure that I'm not as strong. Cutting it off as close as we can. Now what we do is we measure where we want the hook to actually come out. We're going in under the peck over there and we're going to come out in the jawbone. So basically the hook's going to go in there and come out there. That's what we're trying to achieve. We measure how long it is, so we know it's there. We're going to give ourselves a little bit more nylon to tie our knot with. So I want to cut it over here. And again, all we're going to do is just do our figure of eight. Open him up. He doesn't want to open up too nicely. Top side again just figure of eight and the reason we use such thick nylon is that a hound shark or a smoothie feeds in amongst the rocks you sometimes get them over the sandbanks but mainly around the rocks and they are extremely dirty fighters they will take you in over around any rock that you've possibly got so what I want to do now is just pull this whole knot and just test my knots quickly just going to go in the cover again just to pull guys. Okay, cut off all little tag ends that we might have. Okay, to do this trace all we're going to do is go under the pick. So we're going over here. Underneath it's a very soft area and we pull it up and around. We now pull it down to hide the actual R, but before we hide the R, we should have pull it up a little bit there. There we go. Take our toothpick through the eye and push it through. That's right. Get a pair of pliers and just snip it off. But what we're going to do is just that. We then take our cable tie through. around and pull it up to where the actual um, R actually is, that part of it there. Slide it around. There we go. Cut the tail off. Cut this. Cut it off. And basically there is the trace all ready for you to throw. It's as simple as that. If you want to clip it, you can. It's not the most aerodynamic bait when you do, but it will work. There it is there. The entire length to the swivel 
is 600. So it's quite a long tray, so it can move around quite a bit in the water. If you're finding that you're battling to get a bite and there's no peckers around, what you can do is take your bait needle and just poke a couple of holes, especially in that gill area over there. Okay, it'll release a lot more blood a lot faster and hopefully you'll get a bite quicker. Okay guys, that's what's working on the south coast.